In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can paint all different types of foliage using the same brush just by varying three different aspects, whether it's simple or branched, single branched or multi-branched, or asymmetrical or symmetrical. Let's get started. Okay, in today's video, I'll be using my Canson Mixed Media XL notebook in A4, some of my Daniel Smith watercolors, my Princeton Neptune round brush in size four, and of course I've got a jar of water here. I'll start with a basic one. So I'll paint a stem, and then using the brush stroke that I covered in my Intro to Watercolor series, I'm gonna paint a basic leaf. I'm gonna touch, press, and lift. Touch, press, and lift. There you go, you've just got kind of your bog standard leaf. Now look what happens when I do a longer stroke. So instead of just touching, pressing, and lifting, I'm going to press and then drag it further upwards. So painting a stem, I'm going to touch, press, drag, and then lift to a point. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So there you go. Just by varying that brush stroke, you get a pretty different look. You get a much thinner, longer leaf. Now we can achieve the opposite aesthetic, so a shorter, rounder leaf by further varying the same brush stroke. So I'm gonna touch and press, but when I press, instead of dragging upwards, I'm gonna drag outwards. So I'm gonna touch, press outwards, and back to the middle and lift. Touch, press, and lift. There you go, you got a much rounder shape. You can also create kind of jagged edges to create yet another leaf shape. It's kind of like an oak leaf. The way I do it is kind of just creating an undulating stroke. So I'm gonna to touch, I'm gonna to press, and before I lift, I'm gonna Bring it in a little bit. I'm gonna to touch, press, and lift. And then I'm gonna bring it in a little bit. And I'm gonna to touch and press, and then finally lift the brush off the page. I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. There you go, you got a very different look for your simple leaf. Now, of course, you can further vary these. You know, you don't have, you can make these longer or thinner. You can make them shorter and thinner. Um, but just a few examples, a few ideas. So with a single branch, we start by painting a branch, which will serve as the base for all your leaves. So any leaves you paint for this guy are just going to come off of, off of this one branch. Just paint a leaf shape at the end. And then paint another one. You can leave it there. Um, and this would be a multi-branch with a bit of asymmetry, but you can also complete it by painting your leaf in the opposite direction from the same point. Now you can vary this look by, rather than doing it symmetrically, doing it asymmetrically and varying the leaf shapes. I'm gonna paint another stem here and I'm gonna paint a smaller leaf than I did last time. And then watch what happens when I do the leaves asymmetrically instead of symmetrically in this first one. So I'm gonna paint a leaf here and then instead of painting one right next to it here I'm going to paint it coming off of the branch but um, slightly lower and then just mixing that brush a little bit I'm going to paint another guy here um, you'll see as well I'm varying the sizes usually what I like to do is as I get closer to the base of the plant so the bottom of the branch I make them larger 
but you can, of course, choose to keep them the same size if you'd like. There you go, that is a single branch with asymmetrical leaves. You can get more variations just by changing the leaf shape as well. So I'm gonna paint another branch here. And instead of painting a pointed leaf, I'm gonna do a rounded leaf shape. This one I'm gonna do it symmetrical. Personally, when I do single branch leaves, I generally paint them symmetrically. I mean, there's no real reason for it. It's just kind of what I prefer. I think it just feels more natural to me. Okay, so that's one with rounded leaves. And why don't we do another one? But instead of, with ra of rounded leaves, we'll do long, thin, pointy leaves. So I'm gonna do this one symmetrically. Painting really small, thin leaves just coming down. I'm gonna make the leaves gradually larger as I come down the branch. Would say if you're gonna vary the shape and make them larger, just make sure you give yourself enough room. What I mean by that is you don't want to get too big too soon. Cause then by the time you get to the bottom, your leaves are gonna be have to be enormous. Here's, that's a few examples of some single branch leaves you can do. I move on to my personal favorite, which is the multi-branch. So the multi-branch is what it sounds like. Rather than just a single kind of branch to build your leaves off of, you build a network of branches and you can then build your leaves off of that. So I'm going to paint a longer one here. Then I'm gonna paint branches coming off of this. Now again, in the same way that you have the symmetrical leaves here and the asymmetrical leaves here, you can do the same, use the same concept for the subsequent branches. So you can either choose to do it symmetrically or asymmetrically. So I'll start with the symmetrical one. So as I paint these branches, I'm just gonna paint its twin on the other side coming off from the same point and approximately the same length. And just paint these at the end of these. There you go. That's a multi-branch with some symmetrical leaves. Paint the same thing, but instead of having the other branches coming off symmetrically, we'll paint them asymmetrically. So I'm going to paint it the next branch slightly offset from this one. So instead of just coming from here, I'm gonna go up a little bit and paint it from here. I tend to find as well for this, um, again, in the same way leaves tend to go from smaller to larger, I tend to paint the branches longer at the base and then shorter as I get closer to the top. I'm just gonna paint small leaves coming off of this. What you can choose to do as well for these branches is have more leaves coming off, so leaves coming off of here. Paint another branch here and then
You'll see here, I'm not varying my leaf shape on this one, but that's okay. Okay, another branch coming off this one because it's quite long. Usually with the longer branches toward the bottom, uh, I like to add another branch just to balance it out a little bit. Okay, so that's a multi-branch asymmetrical leaf. Let's do one where it's not as much of a network with slightly larger leaves. I'm going to start with a branch again, the, sorry, the center branch, and I'm going to paint a longer leaf on this one. I'm just going to vary my leaves down. Start with this one coming off. So I'm using a slightly larger leaf here. It's not dissimilar to the network that I painted here in terms of where the branches are, but you see you get a very different look just by varying the ends. So those are pointy leaves. Let me show you what you can do with maybe a more rounded leaf shape. So instead of doing this pointy leaf, I'm going to paint leaves again more like that one and create So I think again, just to balance this, I'm going to paint branch here. It's really up to you. I tend to feel like, you know, just a long plain one tends to look a bit empty. So I like to fill out the leaves a little bit. And you know what? I feel like this one maybe needs yet another one coming off this way. go that's a different one with round leaves so here you go we've got 12 different types of foliage all painted using the same brush and we achieve this by varying the three different elements we talked about today as I've shown you here you can get very different looks just by varying the leaf endings that you use there are so many different variations you can do just by changing up those three aspects so why don't you grab your paints and you know you can try some of these and experiment and try and come up with new variations of your own i hope you found this video useful please like and subscribe if you did and i look forward to seeing you on my channel again soon bye